In this simulation, we have a spectrophotometer, a digital thermometer, an Erlenmeyer flask, a pipette, a top-loading balance, a waste beaker, some disposable pipettes, and some samples to work with. To begin, we must first calibrate the spectrophotometer. Click on the water bottle to add some water to the cuvette, and then click on the cuvette to add it to the spectrophotometer. Turn on the spectrophotometer and change the mode to transmittance. Close the lid and click the middle calibrate button to calibrate the instrument. Next, click on the cuvette to clear it and then click it again to rinse it. Now you can turn on the balance and click on the Erlenmeyer flask to move it to the balance. Click on the bottle of alcohol stock solution to add it to the Erlenmeyer flask. Now you can click the Erlenmeyer to remove it from the balance and add the potassium permanganate. Click the potassium permanganate bottle and use your up arrow to fill the pipette. Then click the pipette to add the solution to the Erlenmeyer flask. A reaction will start along with a timer for reference. You can now click on the Erlenmeyer and add a stopper and click it again to shake it. Click on the Erlenmeyer to add the thermometer at any point to get a temperature reading. Next you can click the disposable pipettes to load one. This will remove the thermometer from the flask. Draw up the solution and then add it to the cuvette. Click the cuvette again to add it to the spectrophotometer and close the lid to start taking measurements. At this point, you can open the data table from the bottom right and are able to record data points by clicking the record data point button. You can export your data when you're all finished by clicking the export data button. This will export a CSV file that can be opened in any spreadsheet program. Part B of this experiment operates in a nearly identical manner to Part A, except that you'll be using a water bath to perform this reaction at an increased temperature.